welcome to my youtube channel so today in the sims 4 we are building two apartments i guess furnishing two apartments so i basically split it not into half but i split it pretty much so on the right side is like a studio and i was thinking like maybe a teenager could live there and then on the left side i'm thinking a couple and the teen in my head has a dog um so yeah i thought this would be fun i was originally thinking like oh maybe I'll do it in San Maishuno but like I feel like I don't really like those apartments that much I don't know it's just I don't know I just I don't I don't really know like I never built in all the apartments in San Maishuno just because I feel like some of them are weird um like some of them are two stories and I just hate that I just because like the way you have to upload apartments is so annoying like I don't want to upload two floors and that's not the main reason it's just like I feel like I don't know I don't really enjoy living or I don't know I don't know I it's so weird I feel like I just don't enjoy or want to build big apartments I prefer for them to be a little bit smaller um I guess that's just my opinion but I don't know maybe I should try it and then also I feel like some of them are weirdly shaped like they have diagonals some of them have things that have to stay in there like a plaque or a fireplace and it's just well, it's so weird um so yeah and I do want to say something um so on Twitter I was just scrolling um also I'm just saying that is the place you go if you want spoilers because oh my goodness it's so hard to avoid because sometimes when I'm bored I'm just like oh let me just scroll on Twitter because maybe I just want to see sims content like it's maybe someone made a sim or a build or whatever um but I guess it could be better to look through Instagram for that but I don't know um and yeah it's just I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw that the Sims community made like a blog article I don't know basically saying like someone found through the files that we are gonna get like a new loading screen basically so it's not here yet don't know when it's gonna happen but maybe the next update I assume and it's gonna be like um basically an ad during your loading screen so like I don't know you would have to look at the website to know what I'm talking about but yeah it's just like they're trying to do us more ads which I hate because um every single time I open my game I don't want I don't want to say every single time but like for the reaper rewards for example there is this big screen that are whatever that filled up the whole window which at first I was like okay maybe this is fine but they also started doing that with ads usually it would be smaller but no now they're taking up the whole window which is so stupid and I hate it not to mention I have all the packs I don't know why you're tell telling me to like buy cottage living I already have it um and that's so annoying like if someone wants to like think or consider buying a pack they would just go to the pack section that is on the main menu. Like, I don't know. Because I feel like if you're, like, bored with The Sims and you're like, hmm, what else are is there or whatever, you would probably check that section out, you know? I don't exactly think... I don't know. It's just so annoying. And, yeah, it's just... I hate it. They gave us that shopping cart button so i hate that as well like can you just choose one you already gave us the chopping cart button why you're doing too much like it's just what are you gonna do next like what are you gonna do next i don't want to like jinx it or anything but at this point you may as well i don't i don't i don't want to jinx anything so i might not say it. i was gonna say like um send our sims a mail in the letter saying oh have you checked out cottage living or something no but like at this point geez can you chill i don't know what the loading screen is gonna look like and i do i will agree that like just the boring blue loading screen is just boring and it would be nice if it had pictures which i guess this new update is except it's a picture to promote a pack i guess and it could have just been pictures but anyways i don't know it's just that's annoying to me and also i feel like there's bugs I feel like I talked about this in a video, but I guess maybe it didn't get it. I guess it didn't get in the final video. I don't know. But basically, I think in the update, they fixed the problem with things floating or something. I don't know. But now those things that are floating are on the ground. And 
I, I wouldn't know because I haven't like played my game yet and I don't know if, I, I assume you can't like clean them up because people, I mean, I feel like if you could clean them up, people wouldn't be talking about it or whatever. So I assume it's causing an issue. And also, I feel like I said this in a video, as I said before, I just don't know if it made the final cut, but basically the festivals in city living, they are in the sky. Like they are in the sky and sometimes they clip in with other festivals. So like you might have the romance festival and the spice festival right on top of it. That's just an example. I don't even know if they happen in the same place, but yeah, like sometimes like the festivals will get placed on top of each other and just like totally bugged and I believe like some of the festivals are just in the sky if you look up um but I don't know and someone on Twitter like posted about it because like I guess like all those festivals were merged together basically because they were in this I don't know okay I don't really know I didn't look into it um, and then someone mentioned like having to like go to their old save and I'm like, huh? Why do you need to do that? Like, it's just cause like they just posted about like the things floating in the air being on the ground, like cups and et cetera. So like, is that like, what is it? Is it really causing an issue? Can you not clean it up? Um, that is crazy. Um, also it seems like Sims closing their eyes is actually not fixed, even though they did say it was fixed. So that's another thing. Um, anyways, but yeah, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's probably more, I would assume. I guess it must be causing issues because they're like, um, they definitely need to fix this before, you know, Live and Dev comes out. Oh, there's also a problem with collectibles. I mean, I've been having problems, but not this type of problem. The problem I've been having is like collectibles not spawning after you collect them the first time at least in willow creek and oasis springs and i think on the forum someone mentioned like at 2 a.m if you're there at 2 a.m or before 2 a.m or whatever that's when they spawn in so you have to be there like at midnight basically to collect them and like that's just not normal um especially if you want your sims to have a normal day and i think the problem with the collectibles now is they're like stacked together um so I saw a picture of like the one of like a rock basically with like the crystals in it but it also had the bones in it and I don't think that's supposed to happen. I'm pretty sure there's those are separate rocks but they're together and then like there was a dirt pile under it and some they said they couldn't like click on it to get it. They also mentioned they couldn't get frogs so they definitely need to fix that because I believe in the life and death pack the tarot cards are collectibles so I would assume that would be an issue as well but yeah like I don't know something is going on with the collectibles they really need to fix all of those problems I just listed um because like that's kind of important for one crystal creations like if you want to get crystals you have to find the rocks to dig them out of um you can't get them if you can't dig them I don't know anyways but yeah, I think that's the only thing I saw. Um, yeah, I think that's the only thing I saw or seen. But I don't know if I even mentioned what these people do. But I was thinking like two Sims live here and one is into interior design. One is in business and I was thinking for a side job. So maybe they have two jobs. I was thinking that maybe in their living room, they, I guess, counsel people or whatever. Um, I don't know if they're like a romance consultant or a therapist of whatever kind. I was just thinking maybe, I don't know, I was just looking at the living room. I was like, hmm, I feel like this would be a good space for a therapist. That that was just what was in my head. So I put, I gave them like a little coffee machine with some mugs. And I did give them a washer and dryer. And let me just say, for whatever reason, I believe me painting the walls deleted the clutter that I had on top of the dryer um so that's weird thankfully nothing else got deleted at least I don't think anything else got deleted but yeah that was kind of annoying and I don't know why that happens and like by the way I tested it out like I was like okay if 
is me painting the walls making this like disappear and I tried it and it does but it doesn't highlight yellow like it usually does when you delete it so I don't know what's going on with that um and yeah I don't know it's just this game I don't know I want to like it but it's just I don't know I feel like there's just I have so many conflicting opinions right now um like I just there's so many bugs and like so many bugs that I'm like are they gonna get fixed ever like the gardening bug like is that ever gonna get fixed because it doesn't seem like it at this point but yet they're still going which I love this one before but I just feel like if they don't change the code it cannot keep going on this long I'm just saying like I really wish they would but I feel like if they did or like moved it to a new engine they would have to basically rewrite everything which obviously is very time consuming but I think it's worth it you know I just think it would be worth it you know like EA has the money to do that and hire more people to get it done but yeah it's just I don't know I feel like it would be for the better if they just did that like if they were really about the money they would make it better um I just want so many things like a color wheel but like the sims 4 was not built for that so you know I just think they should rework it you know because it's 2024 and you're still going on with it so you may as well I'm just saying like the possibilities of packs you can make for the sims 4 would be it's just there would be more possibilities if you change the engine but that's just my opinion i mean i love the sims 4 and i'm always going to play it but again like i feel like it wouldn't be as much issues if they changed it to a new engine which they could probably do a lot more um if they did that but i don't like getting my hopes up I don't know I just they're probably not gonna do it like that's good thinking like you would think they would do it it's ever since they announced that they're not making a new generation game you would think they would do that but apparently not um anyways we're working on the parents bedroom I love the office space that I gave the interior designer and I guess it is also for the business person because you know they're into business um but yeah anyways I don't know I think it's cute also I feel like the dream home decorator career is also bugged um so it would be nice if they would fix that because I believe like in build mode like when you're trying to build with their likes and dislikes I don't think it shows up anymore which is obviously a big issue um I don't know if you get paid for all of your gigs um, and also, I don't know, I feel like them routing, routing to certain places is weird because like, I just, it's like their eyes are closed. As soon as they put their hands over their eyes, they literally don't know where they're going. They're walking through the wall. They're walking on the foundation. It's just so weird. Um, but yeah, I decided to get like a new window because I just didn't know what to put on that wall and it looked pretty blank. And they have a pretty big bathroom. I gave them two sinks. So hers and hers, hers and his, days and days. I don't know. I just, his and her sinks, I guess. Um, but all the versions. But yeah, um, I don't know. Pretty simple, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this build anymore. I feel like I talked about everything I needed to talk about. Um, but yeah, also for school, um, uh, for one of my classes, I hate coding, um, for, I have to make a website basically, um, for like a fictional president, um, so a made up, or fictional president, I guess, so like, I don't know, I'm thinking of The Sims, I'm thinking of like, doing a president campaign for Bella Goth, um, so that might happen, I just, I don't think... I will be good at that. I feel like it's stressful. Like, oh my gosh, why me? Like, why? I don't want to make a website. I just, I knew it was coming. And I feel like for me, I was like, oh, school is going to end pretty soon. No, it's not. No, it's not. I don't know what in my head made me think like, oh, it's going to end pretty soon. I'll be free. I'll have a break. No, I don't think it 
ends until like the beginning of December, especially since like Hurricane Helene. Um, it just added a extra week, I think. So it's not that serious, um, big of a deal. But yeah, I like the bathroom. It's pretty neat. Um, and I think we should be moving on to the other area pretty soon. But yeah, you, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes building in apartments are so annoying because if you do like a lot of clutter and like a lot of alt placing, sometimes deleting the wall will delete all your clutter. So all your hard work has gone to waste. And like, I had that happen to me before and I was like, I wanted to cry because like, I spent all this time trying to alt place this object just for it to delete. Like, oh my goodness. I really wish they could find a better way to like upload apartments. But on the right side, the studio is very colorful. And again, I said it was for a teen. And I love what I did in here. Um, I thought it was very cute and colorful. I don't think I ever used this bed before. So I went for like pink, purple, and yellow colors. And yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's cute. She has, she doesn't have a TV, but she does have a PC setup. So that is pretty nice. And also, I don't know. I feel like my desk, I got a bigger desk. Um, I don't know when I got it to be honest with you but i basically got a newer desk it has like a ledge on it so that's where my monitors are and i don't know i have another desk in my room but right now it's like holding up my tv it's my old desk um so like now i'm like okay maybe i can get like a tv mount and then i can like push the two desks together and then that way i can have more space i was thinking also i probably should put my pc on top of that other desk my old desk just because like right now it's on the floor and obviously that causes more dust but you know i just there's literally nothing else it can go on so it probably needs a good cleaning as well which i feel like is hard um because what do you need? Like, I have it, but it, like, sprays, it blows the air. Because, yeah, anyways, yeah. And you have to, like, hold the fans or they can, like, damage. It's, like, a lot. Anyways, um, but, yeah, I was trying to think of, like, a place to put the TV, but I was like, uh, this feels a little weird. Um, I gave them the same counters, except it has a white top instead of a black top. Um... And yeah, I like the colors in here. I think it's very beautiful. And I decided to use like the dine out um, curtain um, in yellow just because I wanted to make it look like the curtain was continuing and on a wall that doesn't have a window. Um, I just hate how the windows are placed. I wish you could also like change the ones in the front, but unfortunately you can't do that. I feel like if they're if they're able to allow us to like change the windows in other places they should be able to let us change out the door but i don't know i will say like in evergreen harbor the windows um are the apartment at least it changes so i can understand the way i can understand why that may be difficult but like maybe they can decide to change just like the exterior wallpaper instead of like the doors and windows so that way we can have what we want we can make it look how we want it to look um, because I believe even on the bottom of these apartments, like, obviously you can't build walls because that's outside of your unit, but I'm pretty sure you can, like, place objects down there and you can place, like, doors, windows, and everything. You can also change the stairs weirdly, but you probably don't want to do that because you can't, like, add a fence if it needs one. And, oh, I did give her a TV. It's above, like, the desk, so you can watch it from your bed. I forgot about that. But, yeah, um, you have to teleport them inside the room, though, if you want them to use it. So, like, for one of my Sims, I put, like, a laundry mat down there. I had, I don't know why I put all those washers and dryers, and it was just me. It was for pretend, okay? Like, the bottom part was just a laundry and washer place, okay, for everyone, and not just the apartment, but... Yeah, I had to teleport her down there with her um, hamper in her inventory. And I don't know, I think that was fun. I think I actually built like a laundry mat in The Sims. 
and I never placed it. I wonder if I should do that because I think that would be fun. It gives them a reason to get out and it can be realistic. Maybe you just don't have enough money for your own washer and dryer. So I think that's nice. I think I should start doing that maybe. Maybe I'll build another one because I could do better. Um, it's just a laundromat. It's pretty simple, but I could do better. Um, anyways, so I gave the dog some toys. Um, I should be probably cluttering up the desk pretty soon. Oh yeah, I'm doing that right now because I was like, oh, there's no clutter on this desk. That's weird. Um, I don't, I think I gave them like a plushie or a penguin thingy from Lovestruck. Um, I probably should have gave them like a headset, but I did not think about that for whatever reason. Um, and yeah, and annoyingly... The dresser is from Discover University and for whatever reason it doesn't like slot things in that middle part. Like it slots some stuff but like I feel like other things should be able to fit. Like the boxes from Dream Home Decorator. I feel like those should be able to fit but they don't. That's so annoying. It's so weird. Like this game amazes me. Also on Twitter I figured out or I think this is new actually. I found it on a post. And I think you can now ask your ghost pet, basically, cat or dog to, like, fetch something in the, what do you call it, netherworld? I don't really know, please. Anyways, and, like, they'll jump into the ground in a portal and they'll come back with, like, those present thingies in their mouth. And I think that's so cool. So it's nice to see they updated those things, I guess, for other packs. But they didn't mention it in the patch notes, I guess, which... I guess it's fine. It's just for you to find out yourself. And last but not least, we're working on her bathroom. We should be working on the entryway a little bit. I just put like a board up. I put, well, I already put the trash can because I couldn't fit a trash can in the left side apartment, which is kind of weird. Or no, maybe it's not weird. I actually put a trash can in this bathroom. Don't know if it's functional, but it is for decoration mainly. But they can just use the bathroom or trash can that's in the hallway I usually like I have a pet peeve of like not having a trash can in the house that's like the biggest pet peeve of mine like it bothers me so much especially if the house is like so big like there's no reason you can't fit a trash can in here I don't care if the dumpster is just right out there I just think it should have a trash can because that's like there's something that's something that's just so realistic that I feel like I need but the video is pretty much over um, I'm just grabbing that board. I cut out, or I cut off, like, the wall in the front because I didn't know what to do with it. But yeah, I'm gonna hop in game and give you guys a little tour. Okay, so here is an overview of the apartment. This is the little hallway, so I just put, like, a cork board. And then over here, we have our trash chute. And for the first apartment, you walk right into the kitchen space. And I did put three bar stools, but this one is just all place so i'm not sure if they can get into this one but they should be able to get into this one and then on this side we have our fridge some plates mugs and our coffee and they can just cook on that counter and then over here is just our living room space we have our couch we have some plushies and file cabinets for our therapist slash business person and this is their bedroom and their office space I guess as well so they have like a little clock their design board and they also have a tv in their room which is nice they have their hamper and then this is their ensuite bathroom the only bathroom they need and then through the bathroom you can also get into the laundry room so that is the left side on the right side you walk into like the dining room area I guess and you know they have their dresser they have their pc they have their washer and dryer and then they also have their small little kitchen over here they have a pet bowl in their hamper and then this is where they sleep so they have like a little mirror and their bathroom which is pretty nice i put like a little trash can and i did give them a light switch because i thought that was cute and yeah that is the full build i used a lot of packs unfortunately i honestly have no idea how people look for apartments on the gallery so i just said hashtag apartment hashtag stone street hashtag stone street apartments i also 
also did put it in the description so hopefully that helps but if you want to download it it's on my gallery my id is just sims delicious and let me know which side is your favorite honestly i like this side just because i don't know it's colorful it's bright it has yellow they have a pc i don't know but i think i'm going to leave this video off here so if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys soon bye